Hi there Star Wars fans, Nabil6901 here and welcome back to a Star Wars Black Series action figure review. Today we will be taking a look at one of the new figures from the Last Jedi line and it's Rey in Jedi training outfit. Uh, this is a really cool figure, it uh, definitely drew my interest as soon as they uh, revealed the San Diego Comic Con exclusive 2 pack which brought her and uh, Luke Skywalker. I'm pretty happy to have this in my collection, uh, it seems like it has a lot of cool... Um, features to go along with the figure so we're going to dive right into the packaging and then we'll open up the box and see what she has to offer so here's the star wars the black series logo now outlined in white in the bubble of course you can see the figure nicely with all the accessories that it is included with uh, a really interesting image of ray not all that great but i mean it resembles daisy enough so it's cool um the character's name of course the warning logo there hasbro logo on the side you get the same name on this side you've got the number of the figure of course on the back you've got more stuff you've got the bio if you guys want to pause the video and read it you can go ahead and do so warning logos in other languages all that jazz barcode so let's crack this box open and uh, see what the figure has to offer Alright, so I got Ray out of the packaging, and uh, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with the figure. It's certainly a better improvement um, in certain aspects, uh, as opposed to the uh, Force Awakens version of Ray. Um, let's just go over the articulation really quickly, and then we'll go over uh, everything else that she has. <clears throat> so she has a, a ball-jointed head, as you guys can see there. Unfortunately, her articulation is limited due to her hair. It's not terrible. So you can see, but it is stuck a little bit because of the back part of her hair. So there's that. Oh, darn it. And it can get caught under here too. Um, she has hinged shoulders, which go out that much. Not bad. Uh, hinged elbows, and these are like the good ones that kind of go like all the way up. Kind of almost similar to uh, double hinged elbows, but obviously these aren't. These are single hinged, which is great. Hinge wrist, now this one goes up and down. Of course it swivels, mind you. But this wrist goes up and down for the blaster, if you can, if you notice the trigger here. Trigger hand. And then this one, instead of up and down, it goes side to side, which is meant for uh, the lightsaber. Just a little thought there that you guys should know. Uh, she has a swivel upper torso, or more or less at the waist, actually. But has a good range of movement. Um, she has hinged thighs. But because of all this, it's hindered. Um, she has, I'm going to lift this up so you guys can see. Uh, it's swivel right here as well. So that's good. She has double hinged knees. Double hinged knees are always fantastic. Hinged ankles, and they pivot as well. So like I said, in the articulation department, uh, Ray's pretty decent. Alright, so as far as accessories goes, uh, she of course comes with her famous staff. Um, like I said, I think it's a, a, all of the stuff that comes with this Ray's a little bit of an improvement compared to the Force Awakens one. Um, if I compare it to, say, the Force Awakens Ray staff, there's, uh, there's definitely quite a difference in color and everything of the sort. This is the very first Ray, mind you, that was released before all the repaints and then, like, the added lightsaber and all that jazz. Um, so the, the, the strap here on the new one is a uh, more accurate it's brown as opposed to this where it's more of a bright khaki type of color um the white bands here it's it's a little bit white and then brown whereas these are um, down here and mind you i have it like the right way where she holds it upwards so i don't know which one's accurate and whatnot but not a big deal um the color of the staff itself uh, on the new one is kind of black, whereas this one is a light gray from The Force Awakens, this one here. So overall, I like this one a lot better. 
she can hold it pretty well too. And then this time around, they included the blaster that Han gave her in The Force Awakens. Just a simple shade of silver with the handle having a little black on it. There is some nice detail on it, though, if you guys see. So kudos to Hasbro on that. She can put it on her uh, gun holster here. And it fits nicely, as you guys can see. And then, of course, she comes with the Anakin Luke lightsaber, which is now hers. Um, the hilt itself has some pretty nice detail. I'm, I'm pretty surprised at that. It's got the blacks. It's got the gold right there like it should. It's missing the red right here. I have to be picky about it. But back here, they painted it red, so at the uh, igniting button. So that's good. And then it's got a nice blue tone. It's actually a, a better blue tone as opposed to the Starkiller base uh, ray with lightsaber. Unfortunately, I don't have that near me at the moment, but uh, I compared it, and um, it was definitely a, this one's a better shade of blue, whereas the other one was more of a light blue, very clear. Um, now, as far as detail goes, uh, de the detail is pretty good. It's um, again, it's a, it's a, an improvement from the Force Awakens in several aspects. She's not as pale as uh, as the Force Awakens version was. I know the lighting makes it seem like she's a lot more, you know, whiter in skin tone, but it's actually a nice skin tone color. It's it's a nice um, it's a nice tan color. Um, the face paint is pretty decent. It's not bad. Um, I'm I'm pretty impressed with it. Unfortunately, though, it has a little paint scratch mark on her nose. I don't know if you guys can tell that all that well, but so that kind of sucks. Um, and she's got like another little paint mark on her cheek. I'm not sure how well you guys are gonna be able to tell, but the, the eyes are painted nicely. The eyebrows, the hair is pretty decent. Um, the, the, especially the back part, you can really tell like all the hairlines and everything like that. So they did a pretty good job. Kind of reminds me of Qui-Gon's hairstyle. So there's that. The, the paint job on her uniform or her outfit is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty much resembles the Jakku outfit. They just kind of... Instead of having, you know, pants all the way to, like, her knees, it's, like, all the way down now. And she has, like, boots. More closer to a Jedi type of look. But in her own right. Which is cool. I like the ridges they added here. That's pretty cool. Like, the folding type of marks. The belt's not really anything fancy, but it's still neat. They have these, like, uh strings behind back here of her boots which i like that that detail that attention to detail is pretty nice her holster of course i mean all around detail wise it, it's pretty sweet one thing i forgot to mention is that uh the blade um on the lightsaber hill it can be detachable like so <clears throat> But you can't clip it onto anywhere. Like, she doesn't have, like, a little hook or anything on her belt. So, uh, that kind of sucks. But, uh, yeah. Detail-wise on this figure, pretty darn good. So, before I end this review, I just wanted to give you guys a, uh, quick comparison. Uh, between The Last Jedi Ray and The Force Awakens Ray. And you can tell there's quite a difference i mean this ray kind of sucks honestly compared to this in every format like for instance the uh the arms can only bend up to right there as opposed to this one where she could bend you know almost uh all the way up which is fantastic which in turn allows her for better uh posing abilities especially with the with the lightsaber now whereas this i mean you can only do a handful of poses and Thankfully, the staff is long enough so you can get her to pose in something decent uh, with the staff. But, um, you know, like I said, the, the, the skin tone, this is super pale and this one isn't. This one's got a nice skin tone when you see it in person. Um, 
the eyes. I mean, just, you know, it's, it, Hasbro definitely stepped up their game this time around with uh, with their uh, new Ray figure. And the outfits obviously are, are different. Very similar, though. They're pretty much the same thing for the most part. But, uh, yeah. Uh, definitely like the new uh, Last Jedi Ray so much more. Um, hopefully they can someday come back and, you know, give us an all new Force Awakens Ray where it looks better. I know that the one with the speeder, that's a, a better Ray in terms of a lot more articulation, double jointed knees, uh, all this part right here is soft goods rather than plastic. So she has more, uh, mobility and all that jazz. Um, obviously the head sculpt would be new because it's like all the garments covering her face and all that stuff. And they went back and repainted this figure with BB-8 two or three times. And then they added the lightsaber after the movie was released. But it's just still uh, not all that great. I haven't found the definitive Force Awakens Ray figure yet. I know uh, Mayfax released one. I think Figure Arts at this point has released one. It's just I'm not content with what I found. I don't know. But uh, yeah, this pretty much concludes my review on the last Jedi 6-inch Black Series Ray in Jedi training outfit. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, definitely pick this figure up if um, you see her in stores. Um, I know in my area it's still pretty difficult to find any of these figures. Uh, however, she will be re-released with a base uh, later on this year. I definitely want to pick up that version. I'm passing this version on to a friend who missed out on her during For Force Friday, so I look forward to getting the one with the base. I'm pretty sure it'll be the exact same figure, maybe with slight paint modifications, but it'll definitely come with a base, and uh, I think that'll be a Walmart exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, yeah. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure to give this video a nice thumbs up. Comment down below. Um, share your thoughts about this figure itself um subscribe to my channel for more uh, action figure reviews i will be reviewing luke hera the target exclusive stormtrooper executioner and the toys r us exclusive commander grief figure so stay tuned for those reviews thanks again for watching guys until next time may the force be with you